Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Tamara Habibova. I'm the first year master of Voronezh State University International Relations Faculty. And today I'm honored to represent you the scientific results of my research devoted to the tourism industry in Switzerland. Switzerland is deeply rooted in international mass consciousness as the most magnificent touristic destination in Europe, which undoubtedly embodied the paradise of the earth. Gleaming glaciers, snow-covered mountains offering breathtaking views, shimmering Syrian lakes, charming fine-looking villages and the enchanting fascinating towns will leave you mesmerized on your holiday to this inimitably fairy state. To energize your touristic interest, I lure you to offer to see a short promotional video discovering unsurpassed beyond the imaginable loveliness of Switzerland to provide you a short discharge from mundane and stressful routine. Let's start with a brief observation of a general fact about this country. Switzerland, officially the Swiss Confederation, is a federal republic in Europe. It consists of 26 cantons and the city of Bern as the place of the federal authority's seat. Switzerland is situated in western central Europe and is bordered by Italy to the south, France to the west, Germany to the north, and Austria and Liechtenstein to the east. Remarkably that it's a landlocked country geographically divided between the Alps and the Swiss Plateau and the Euro. While the Alps occupy the greater part of the territory, the Swiss population of approximately 8 million people is concentrated mostly on the plateau, as you could see on the map where two economic centers, Zurich and Geneva, are situated since the time of the state's foundation. Undoubtedly that the most radiant and fulgent diamond of the Swiss monarch crown presented by its economic miracle. Switzerland is dedicated by its stable, prosperous, modernized, high-tech economy and enjoys great wealth, being ranked as the wealthiest country in the world per capita in multiple rankings. The statistic data you could see on the diagram. 
The World Economic Forum's Global Competitiveness Report currently ranks Switzerland's economy as the most competitive in the world, while ranked by the European Union as the Europe's most innovative economy. Switzerland is the home to several large multinational corporations, as for instance Glencore and Nestle. Of course, such economic results couldn't have been achieved without the tourism industry elaborational scope as the biggest contributor to the national economy. Tourism as a sector of modern Swiss economy plays a crucial role in national economic elaboration, being an integral part of Switzerland's economic success. Over total revenue of GDP index approximated by 52.5% of federal budget income and almost 66% of national balance of payments came from tourist accommodation, meals and transportation. These three tourism products are responsible of the total value added from the tourism. The expenditures of foreign guests in Switzerland has the same effect on the Swiss balance of payments as the exports of goods and services on the state. Let's meticulously analyze all three main contributors to the tourism industry in Switzerland. The accommodation sector, the sector of touristic meals and public catering, and the touristic infrastructure. Within the frameworks of presented scientific paper, I mobilized analytical resources paying specified attention to the accommodation sector. First of all, it should be pointed out that the Swiss tourism statistics break accommodation options down into hotel accommodation and supplementary accommodation. As you could see on the map, hotel accommodation encompasses hotels, boarding houses and guest houses, while supplementary accommodation consists of youth hostels, campsites and agro-tourism as a specified distinctive peculiarity of Swiss national tourist sector. Hotels accommodation in Switzerland is the other specified topic of speech. The territory of Switzerland is abundant by internationally recognized titans of hotel business such as Hilton, Sheraton, accompanied by national upscale hotels as the Palace Lutzern Hotel, for instance, offering apartments for any case within middle class budgets and, of course, within Bohemia business representatives also. As you could see on the statistic diagram, in 2015 the Swiss hotel industry recorded a total of 75.6 million overnight stays. Swiss demand amounted 16 million overnight stays, which corresponds to the stable results annually. Foreign guests generated approximately 20 million overnight stays. Within the structure of foreign guests, Germany accounted for the strongest foreign demands with approximately 4 million overnight stays, then followed by the United States citizens and the United Kingdom. In terms of tourism regions within the hotel accommodation structure, Turek region recorded the highest number of states with 5.6 million units. It was followed then by Kronbunden region and valley with approximately 4 million overnight stays. Let's introspect the supplementary accommodation. First, it should be mentioned that the precious number of touristic second homes in Switzerland is currently unknown. The following analyses are based on information regarding residential units used for tourism, which are collected by specified touristic agencies in Switzerland other tourist organizations and municipalities as well as by the reservation systems and booking platforms. The reported figures therefore don't reflect the total overnight states in holiday apartments. About one third of the destination have no any record at all. Within the structure of supplementary accommodation specified attention should be paid on youth hostels 
Youth hostels have been transmogrified into sustainable development accommodation sector in Switzerland, offering all necessary facilities at affordable prices. From private rooms to a dorm beds for the night, hostels are ranked to meet all the requirements. And as you could see at the statistic diagram, in 2016, youth hostels based in Switzerland recorded a total 1 million overnight stays or 15% of all accommodation in Switzerland. Domestic demand was at uh, approximately half a million states, which corresponds to decrease, while foreign demand generated approximately 200,000 overnight states. Within the structure of foreign demand, again, indigenous denizens of Germany and German guests are undoubtful leaders, accounted for the largest share of foreign demand with 66 overnight stays. In terms of tourist regions, Grand Bunden recorded the largest number of stays, then followed by the Zurich region. The other contributor to supplementary accommodation is presented by campsites. Campsites as picturesque places used for overnight stays in the outdoors, also at the peak of demand in Switzerland. In 2016, the campsite recorded approximately 3 million overnight stays. Swiss guests accounted for 2 million overnights, while foreign guests generated approximately 1 million stays. Again, within the structure of foreign guests, German citizens are absolute leaders. They accompanied approximately half a million stays per year, which corresponds to the highest absolute result among the foreign countries. They also followed by visitors from the Netherlands, the United Kingdom and France. And the leader of supplementary accommodation, agro-tourism sector, Agrotourism might be characterized as Swiss national distinctive peculiarity in tourist accommodation sector due to the scope of endeavors already mobilized to substitute traditional hotels, hostels and campings. In Switzerland, there is even a perfectly functioning and extremely convenient down booking platform using big screens in public places to lure tourists' interest to this kind of accommodation. And as an end of the first part of my presentation, I offer you to see a short video to observe how this platform functions to lure tourism in agro-tourism as a substitute for traditional accommodation in Switzerland.
So that's all for the first part of the presentation. See you on the second part.